Here I will summarize 10 findings from our latest annual report on FCC gasoline desulfurization, the coming octane sulfur squeeze. When you increase desulfurization severity to make 10 ppm sulfur, octane loss accelerates. And I refer you to our 2016 YouTube video on this finding. The critical point for today is that this accelerated octane loss will reduce U.S. octane supply by much more than is generally expected. We estimate the octane loss for Tier 3 sulfur gasoline will be $15 billion per year, or $0.12 cents per gallon of gasoline, valued at today's national average retail octane price. Again, this is way more than is being expected by the industry. Sulfur reduction toward 10 ppm gasoline has been slow in the United States. We see here the U.S. volume weighted average sulfur in gasoline has fallen from 31 ppm in 2011 to 24 ppm in 2016. This leaves a gap of 14 ppm additional sulfur removal to be accomplished by 2020. FCC feed pretreating will not fill the gap. Many people are expecting that it will, but we disagree. To close the gap will require increased severity on existing FCC gasoline desulfurizers to a degree that will cause much larger than expected octane loss. So we see a loss of refinery octane supply coming. Let's look now at the demand for octane. The demand for high octane gasoline continues to grow and this is likely to continue for many reasons that are given in our report. And the price of octane continues to rise. The average US premium versus regular retail price differential was flat at 10 cents per gallon for more than a decade. In 2005 it started increasing and it has never stopped. The data and analysis behind this trend is also in our 2017 report. With increasing octane demand, an increasing octane price, and anticipating a $15 billion per year reduction of refinery octane supply, this is the octane sulfur squeeze. The value of Tier 3 sulfur credits is a market barometer for the octane sulfur squeeze, and that value is increasing today. We know this because our client group is connected to an information network that keeps us aware of the market for these new credits. The fact that the price of these credits is increasing now lends direct support to our theory. Credit prices show a history of panic buying near the deadline. This was seen with Tier 2 sulfur credits and renewable identification numbers, or RINs. We expect the coming octane sulfur squeeze will be an instant replay of the current RIN issue and similar in magnitude. So tier three sulfur can be either a big opportunity or a big crisis for refiners, depending on how you prepare. We have done three years of research to help refiners prepare for 2020. We have done much more than just paper studies. Our annual reports include pilot plant data, and commercial field test data, technical data that has not previously been available to the industry, along with spreadsheet models and the market data and analysis to support all our findings. Our 2017 report is helping our clients decide on and implement profitable strategies for tier three sulfur. It is available immediately at a cost that is negligible for anyone who has a stake in this topic. Regardless of where you are today in your planning work, we hope you will decide to buy it and we promise it will help you. Thanks a lot for your attention. Please contact me anytime for more information and have a good day.